I'm here today and all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams They'll see Cause I've got perfect songs and melodies Just waiting to come out of me And you'll sing along Like oh, oh. Fancy words, clever lines and tales That take you back in time And you'll sing along Like oh, Everyone will know They should have believed in me Should have believed, baby! And hi, welcome to another edition of The Spiel. As you can see, this is not Angie Wyatt. This is a very good friend of mine, Ryan Patrick. Thanks so much. Hey. Please, please. please. The studio audience kind of gets crazy. Sit down. <laughs> Gosh. I'm surprised they have not jumped up here and wanted your autograph. Everywhere I go. Because you are, or you, boy, I guess you still are. You don't lose the title. Mr. Carterville. Little Mr. Carterville, L 1982. What? 1982. Yes, yes. You are an incredible thespian. Excuse me? Thespian. Yes. Uh, seriously, how many plays have you been in now? Uh, uh, somewhere around 100. Wow. What's been your favorite? Oh, I can't. That's like picking you, kids. Yeah, picking yeah. me. Well, actually, I could pick my favorite kid, but um, <laughs> no, um, I, I don't have a favorite show. I've, I have favorite shows. I've you know Fiddler on the Roof and you know what? And, Twelve uh, Angry Men. Twelve Angry was Men. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just recently got to play Atticus Finch again and To Kill a Mockingbird. And, oh wow. And Willie Loman and uh, Death of a Salesman. So I mean, there are a lot of great shows and great parts, but uh, they all mean something. To me, except for you know a handful that I don't want tell me, ever want to. Can you tell me one again. that you're like, oh, why'd I do this? Oliver. Really? Uh, Were you yeah. Oliver? No, no, I wasn't. No. Oliver's uh, wife, or was he a little boy? Uh, he was a little boy. He probably wasn't married. Well, actually, he was played by a little girl in our production. Okay, well, that's so. a whole different kind of <laughs> play. <laughs> but yeah. I appreciate you coming. Yeah. Well, today. no, it's great. It's, it's been be a long time since you and I sat at a desk uh -huh. and, and talked uh, many, many years, many, many years but, uh, but no, this is great. Thank you for, thank you for asking me. Um, you always have great adventures with your family. You're like my family. If it's going to go wrong or if something's going to mess up or you can't believe something's happened to somebody, it, it's usually me. But you've, you've got a new adventure I want to hear about. Well, we, yeah, my, my daughter and I just returned from a trip to New York. Uh, we How old to, is she now? Now she is 13. Right. She'll be 14 next month. And um, yeah, she'll be in high school. Can you believe that? No. My daughter, Riley. Hello, Riley. Um, yeah, so we just went to New York. She is really big into uh, Broadway musicals wow. right now and hmm. loves. Wherever she got that. I don't know. Okay. I never forced theater on her. I, she's kind of discovered it through seeing some shows I was in. She's done some shows now and she really, really enjoyed it. So for her eighth grade promotion gift and her early birthday present, okay. we, I, it was a, it was a father daughter trip to, uh, to New York city. And so we went there, we were there for like five days. We saw five shows and wow. uh, just had, had a good time. Did she it, love it? She did. She did. I don't think that she was prepared for the amount of walking that you do yeah. in New York. Um, there is at one point where she told me uh, shortly before we had lunch one day, you do, there are three things you do not want me to be. You do not want me to be hot, hungry, and tired. And right now I'm all three. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was kind of a low point of the, uh, the vacation, but everything else, it was good. Did you go to the Statue of Liberty? We did not. Okay. We I just wanted not, to know no. if the lady was climbing around the top. <laughs> no, that. we got back right before that happened. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Now you went to California. That yeah. was your bucket list trip. That a few was years last, uh, last summer. Okay. Yeah. I told my husband, I have always wanted to walk the Santa Monica Boulevard, you know, the Sheryl Crow song. And I, I just wanted to see, I wanted to see this, the walkway of stars, the Hall walkway of fame, what is it called? The Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. yeah. And the Kodak Theater, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to go out there. And so happened, a week before we went, just for grins and giggles, I got on the uh, Price is Right website, and they were giving away tickets for next week's show. Here's Julie. Bing! Bing! Got him. <laughs> and my husband is the most shy, you know, where I'm out there, yes. he is against the wall going, I don't want to talk to nobody, I don't want to be here. That's one of my wife's bucket list is it things, to go, is to go on The Price is oh, Right. So she cool. loves The Price and, is Right. And while we're watching commercials, mm -hmm. Drew Carey is out talking to everybody. Oh, that's cool. It's just really, really cool. He was so 
friendly and, and it was real, it was a neat experience. Loved it. Nice. Loved it. But nice. I didn't get on the show and, and sitting in your chair like you do at home, you know the prices. <laughs> I mean, I'd have won everything because I <laughs> two fifty. I was telling them. I was telling them. I get so mad when somebody gets on there and doesn't know what to do. I know. And it. then they win, and I'm like, they don't deserve to win. I know. <laughs> Take I get it away mad. From them. I, yeah, but. But anyway. But enough you, about me. <laughs> you know what? You're in for a great time. I, we I, have got. Kristen Kearns today, she's from Harrisburg, and she is an incredible singer-songwriter. Okay. We have got uh, a chef coming in that's okay. going to make us an incredible Good, meal. because I am hungry. I know. Well, you get to eat here. Okay. And uh, it's going to be incredible. And we also have um, a lady from Makanda who does an all-natural skincare lotion, cleanser, toner, and it's called Sun Sunflower Girl, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited to talk to her. That's very cool. I'm looking forward to this. This is my first time doing anything like this. Isn't know? he doing good, guys and girls? Huh? So you just, you give me the check yeah. later today? Is that how it works? I, or do I invoice you? How do, does, how do does you this guys work? write him a check or does he need to invoice Angie? We'll I, talk later. We'll oh, talk, we'll okay. talk later. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. You guys, they're going, we, so I gets paid? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> so let's get into this. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back. Coming up on the spiel. Ryan, we're going to teach you all about skincare today. Somebody needs to. And I, I, apparently, it's for men and women, and we have the Sunflower Girl. Back in the good old days when your hard work paid, but you didn't have a lot. You met Grandma there where she used to work at the soda fountain stop. The Bank of Heron has been serving Southern Illinois since 1937, offering everything from checking and savings accounts to loans and a full-service trust department. With convenient locations and a dedicated professional staff, our outreach and involvement in the communities we serve plays an integral role in how we do business, proving it's not just a bank, it's a relationship. The Bank of Heron. To find out more, visit bankofheron.com. My name is Terry Rogers Smith. I am a PA. And I'll be practicing in Christopher. Well, I'm family practice, meaning I treat everything from three months old to the end. Um, I think the biggest thing with me that you'll find is I'm a patient advocate, and I'm very much for the patient making their decisions because ultimately it's their body. Visit any one of our 11 locations in Southern Illinois. Log on to our website, crhpc.org. My name's Chris Boyd. I'm the owner of the Goddard Place in Anna, Illinois. It's uh, about a 600 square foot log cabin that we rent out as a vacation rental. We like to sit down and meet people and talk to them about our experiences in the area. We have approximately about eight to 10 wineries within 30 minutes of the cabin. The Shawnee National Forest, the beauty and the hiking, the inspiration point. It'll take a drive up to the cross. It's really nice to see at sunrise or sunset. When local hospitality and endless adventure wait just outside your door, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. Hi, welcome back to the Spiel, and I love these kind of segments. Um, Ryan, we're going to teach you all about skin care today. Somebody needs to. And I, I, apparently, it's for men and women, and we have the Sunflower Girl. Yes. Hi. This is Elvira McElroy. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. We're excited to learn about your products. Uh, first, take us back, the backstory. You come from Russia. That's right. Um, I came to uh, Carbondale as an international student uh, to do my master's program and didn't plan to stay here or do skincare uh, stuff, um, but things happened. I <laughs> met my husband, we started a family. I'm still here, we live in Makanda. We raised two beautiful kids, um, and now I'm the founder of the natural skincare brand, Sunflower Girl. 
tell us how, how you got into it. What, what made you decide, you know what, it was your own skin you wanted to help and then figured out a formula to maybe help others? Um, I w always was interested in natural, um, healthy lifestyle. I was interested in healthy diet, exercise, and one day I uh, was thinking, what am I doing for my skin? Um, and I wanted to, uh, to use natural products. I did struggle with uh, oily skin, uh, with um, irritation, inflammation, and acne. And I started researching um, what's, what uh, was available on the market, and um, I was not happy, and I couldn't trust the products that were on the shelf. Um, I started researching this topic, uh, completed a few classes, became certified. And when I um, started sharing uh, my products with my friends and family, I started hearing, this is fantastic. Um, you should take your hobby to the next level and start a business. <laughs> and two years ago, this is what I did. I came up with the name, Sunflower Girl. And why is that? Um, I've always loved sunflowers for their positivity, their colors. They always follow the sun, no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, and I was attracted to the symbolism of the sunflower. So what sets your products apart from other products that are similar? That's a very uh, good question, Ryan. Um, I didn't want just to have a natural skincare brand, because there are other natural skin brand, brands out there. I wanted to take a next step and look for effective. Uh, I think women nowadays, uh, they're aware of natural lifestyle. They want good quality ingredients, but they're also looking at um, results. They want to see a difference in their skin. Um, that's why my, uh, when I researched this topic, I was attracted to the principles of corneotherapy. It's uh, not a new idea, but it's becoming more and more popular. Uh, research shows that it's not necessarily that the deeper layers of skin that need to be stimulated. It's the top layer of the skin that is crucial and um, impactful to the skin, uh, to the health of the skin. Uh, and the top of the layer of the skin is called uh, stratum corneum. Okay. That's why corneotherapy. The idea is that we need to treat skin very gently, with gentle ingredients, with gentle procedures, and provide uh, specific nourishment to help the skin to rebuild its um, skin barrier. And that's what uh, my skin care line does. Um, I advocate for gentle uh, skin care, so I uh, advise avoid anything that is uh, traumatizing uh, to your skin, like uh, excessive scrubbing that okay. we, a lot of women are guilty of. Uh, using soap as a cleanser, it's very harsh on your skin, don't do that. Even Dove? They say Dove is so soft. Yeah, try to uh, <laughs> measure the pH level okay. of, the, skin, of okay. the soap and you will see um, natural uh, pH level of the skin is 5.5 and uh, pH level of the soap will be 8, 9, 10, 12. Okay. It's too high and too harsh uh, on the skin, and soap strips the skin of its natural protective oils. In your line, you've got an oily combination and a dry? Yes, I provide options for women who have oily or combination skin and also dry skin. Would you like to try something out on us so we can feel? I Definitely. like feeling things. Let's, uh, I want you let's to, do. to look what I feel my and touch. look like. Yes, uh, all my containers are airless pumps. This is to protect the product from your fingers. <laughs> if you put your finger in an open jar, you introduce your bacteria, sure, sure. moisture, air to the product, and mm. it's not going to last long. Uh, so that's why all my products are in uh, airless uh, pumps. But here it's an open jar that um, you're welcome to try okay. and test. Uh, cool. You can see how light and, uh, and airy yeah, the texture is. Uh, Am I doing this right? You're doing it right. Okay. It looks good. Uh, this is new to me. Isn't it soft? Now, I want you to feel the other hand. Now mm -hmm. feel this one. Ooh. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Feels good. So what really sets your product apart from the other good ones? That they tell us the good ones. Um, definitely uh, the ingredients I'm using. Okay. I'm using ingredients that hydrate your skin all day long and also 
nourish your skin. First of all, essential fatty acids, oils with essential fatty acids. Can you tell I've been using the moisturizer with the fatty acids? Right? <laughs> Usually right in this area. <laughs> what about guys? Now, we're, you know, a lot of your products are for women, but a little birdie told me that your husband <laughs> actually uses some of your product. Is, is that correct? I don't know where I heard that. <laughs> don't come after me. But uh, I heard that that was true. Is that true? Well, I hope he's not watching this segment <laughs> right now. Um, but it, it is true. I, um, when I started um, creating my formulations, I tried them on everyone, <laughs> uh, including my mother-in-law, my mother, um, my sister, my friends. And my husband was not an exception, although he was strong and he was not going to go for it um, until one day. <laughs> that one day. Uh huh. There's always one day. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Uh, he and then he's a believer. Uh, he's using my day and night cream every day, hmm. and um, I cannot believe the difference in, in his skin because I. I wish I took a before picture to show the difference. Is it like you got a new man, a younger guy? What is it? He's very handsome. Okay. He's always been, but now it's... Um, now it's a handsome guy with a beautiful face. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, how can we get your products? Tell the folks where we can go to. How can they? Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to sunflowergirl.com. I also have accounts in social media, Instagram and Facebook. Um, you, uh, you can also find my direct line, my phone number, and give me a call, text me, message me. I'm open. Usually, um, I uh, collect orders during the week. And um, which talk about that? Yeah. When you get an order, that's when you make their stuff. That's it's right. Fresh. That's that's right. I I want to provide the highest quality of uh, skincare to my clients. Natural ingredients. Uh, wear off over time. Mm -hmm. I want them to use the cream when it's fresh and most potent. Um, and that's why I collect orders first and then I create my products and then deliver them. And they're made locally. I mean, made locally in uh, Macanda, Illinois, United States of America. <laughs> and you can see it on the label. Well, we thank you for coming by. It's a very neat, a neat product you have here. Mm -hmm. And I love local stuff. Mm -hmm. I love so you soft. <laughs> so thank, thank you so much for having me today, and I hope uh, more people uh, will be inspired to use natural skin care products and be beautiful naturally. And we'll be right back. Coming up on the Spiel. We actually played a lot of shows um, up here in Southern Illinois. We put on these big, big shows where like bands from all over would come and that's kind of how we paid for our first record. Ryan, are you ready for this? No, I'm not. What did I initially tell you? Well, you, you told me initially that we were gonna have somebody come in and cook uh -huh. for us today. I get here this morning and I find out that no, people aren't coming here to cook. You and I are going to cook. No, no, I'm reading, it says right here, there's a recipe card in this box uh -huh. and you're gonna cook. Thank you for coming out. It's Jason Powell here with Legion's Bank at our Chamber After Hours event. Legions loves local. We love, love our local customers, we love our local business. We try to help them uh, market their business any chance we get. We're excited about our special announcement tonight, our new branch location. We have purchased the old Fifth Third building. We've been working on a redesign plan and a little expansion to it. It's going to be a great addition to the city of Marion. And we're really excited to show the community what we're going to bring to town. Silkworm has a dedication to quality. It's kind of unparalleled. Logo design, t-shirts, promotional products. We always strive to keep everything as consistent as possible and make sure that they're getting the same quality across everything they get. Our customer service is top notch. Customers are smiling. You'll get an email that says, hey, that was a great job. We're doing what we're passionate about. We can provide what you're looking for. Come in, check out our website, sit down, talk with one of the sales reps, and discover the Silkworm way. Silkworm, we make great first impressions last. We love making new friends. Visit us online at facebook.com forward slash spiel on. The Spiel presents You're On, 100% original new music. Hi, I'm Kristen Kearns. The song is called Days of Gold. Built your life with your two hands 
working hard down at the mill. You had big plans of finding gold there in a foothill town called Placerville. Back in the good old days where your hard work paid, but you didn't have a lot. You met Grandma there when she used to work at the soda fountain stop. And you never know where the time is gonna go. But we've got to take it slow. These are the days of gold. Yeah, we've got to take it slow. These are the days of gold. met your first son the day you came home from serving overseas in the Korean War. You started witching wells and drawing plans for rockets. Yeah, you had three sons that followed every footstep. And you never know where the time is gonna go But we've got to take it slow These are the days of gold Yeah, we've got to take it slow These are the days of gold Tramp minor style. You've seen painted desert sunsets, those big Montana skies. You spent your summers on the lakes down in Kentucky. You moved around, seen most of the country, and you never know where the time is gonna go. We've got to take it slow. These are the days of gold. We've got to take it slow. These are the days of gold. You settled down in this small town. Every step I took, you were beside me. You stood in the crowd, you never let me down. My dreams felt too big, you were always there behind me. I could sit around and listen to your stories every day. I've learned so much from the man you are You made me who I am today And you never know where the time is gonna go We've got to take it slow These are the days of gold We've got to take it slow These are the days of gold We've got to Take it so these are the days of gold. Imagine getting to know your baby's face even before feeling her first kick with the best quality ultrasound images, an ultrasound at every visit, and a bracelet. With your medical records and baby's images, Heartland Women's Healthcare is innovating quality care in the Heartland. Last year alone, Heartland Women's Healthcare was the choice for more than 5,000 expecting mothers. One miracle at a time, that's 5,000 reasons why you should come see us too. Taking care of women and their babies in the Heartland. Heartland Women's Healthcare. I'm coming to Three Rivers College to be a better writer so that I can get onto the bestsellers list.
I write like uh, science fiction books, planetary stuff, romance. It's between two different kingdoms. I just really need help with grammar. Doesn't everyone? You can do it and we can help. Three Rivers College. Success starts here. You're watching The Spiel. And welcome back. This is our segment called You're On. And we are on today with Kristen Kearns, a, a, a Harrisburg, Illinois native. And gosh, a couple of years back we had you? Yeah, it's been a couple of years ago. And how's things from there to now? Things have changed a lot. Um, we've made some changes with the band. Um, so it's kind of more of a duo now that we, we do. Uh, Nathan Thurston, he and I have started a business together in Nashville to kind of um, save up some money and, and get on the road again. Um, now, where's he from? He's from Vienna, Illinois. Did you meet him down there? Or did you know him? Well, that's how the band started. We actually played okay. a lot of shows um, up here in Southern Illinois. We put on these big, big shows where like bands from all over would come, and that's kind of how we paid for our first record and stuff. We, we saved the money from that, and you know it was change, pocket change back then. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, now I mean, it's it's two things. It's actually I have a solo thing. Um, that I'm doing now, uh, writing with people in town and kind of showcasing what I've got that's it's very different um, than what I do with Nate. Okay. So that's kind of why we, we, when we work together, we create like pop music okay. and it comes out sounding like Katy Perry or, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. And then when I write, it sounds like Lumineers yeah. or Sheryl Crow or I love the Lumineers. John Mayer. So it's like, it's way different. When you say you do a lot of things around town, you're talking about Nashville, right? Mm -hmm. What's it like to be a singer-songwriter in Nashville? Because I'm, I'm guessing that there are a few other ones down there too, right? <laughs> yeah, well, what's great, uh, you get to meet people every day moving to town. And so if you like coffee and you like um, you know, having brunch with people, you can be busy Monday through Friday. Um, and I love just meeting up with people. I love getting out there um, and doing the you know, the writer's rounds, which I'm sure you guys have heard of with uh, the Bluebird Cafe and all that stuff. Um, I, I like to enter myself in as many of those as I can and just get my songs out there and you meet people along the way. When I first moved to town, I thought I'd be famous in a week. And you think they all do? I think they all do. Okay. I mean, that, that was just deep down, I really believe that because I'm moving to a big city and I thought with all the connections down there, I just got to get one show and I'm going to be famous. Well, two years later, <laughs> um, we're doing shows every weekend and we built up our following. This was with the band. Um, so that's what I primarily have done down there. Um, but the, the scene has changed. You get yourself out there on social media and you get out in town and you're playing out and someone randomly sees you. And it's usually a guy that you know, middle age that says he can get you, he's going to make you famous, um, and he wants to be your manager. Has he got white patent leather shoes on? A couple uh, gold chains? Yeah, well, I met a few. <laughs> we actually had like four, mm -hmm. and we fired them all because <laughs> wow. they were terrible. Uh, I remember flying out to LA and this guy driving me around in a BMW. Um, Mom was terrified because I was flying out, it's my first flight by myself to fly out and meet this guy I've been talking to for months and months. Had met him face to face. No, but okay. I had to take the leap because he, you know, he managed Brian McKnight and all these men, I love Brian McKnight. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, oh, he's gonna, he's got some connections out in LA. So flew out there and he drove me around in a BMW. I got to stay in a house with a, a nice in-ground pool, but that was about it. I mean, it, nothing happened with my career. Um, a whole lot of people just telling you how they think you should, should be. Um, we fired them all and we got a lot further when we did. Um, usually the people that can do the most for you don't have to talk about themselves. So if somebody is watching who is also a singer-songwriter, who has dreams of, of doing what you did, move to Nashville and be a star, make it big, be discovered, break out, what are the words of advice that you have for somebody who is right now thinking about making that journey? Well, I'd say back when I was younger and inspired, to, to really get out there and just make a push. We all you know, put all our names on a bunch of business loans, any loan that would give us money. Hmm. And we piled up together about 35 grand. 
And we got pretty far with that. We dumped everything into the business. But I would say there's a lot of things out there where people, if they ask for your money, and a lot of it, uh, don't just give them your money up front. <laughs> we had a, a business called Webster and Associates. Um, I think they went under, but they took about 12 grand from us. And, and what did you get out of it? Anything? A phone call saying if, if you want your money back, we'll ruin your name to the industry. So there's a lot of sharks out there. Um, couldn't get our money back there, but we were trying to get on late shows. That was the whole idea. Um, getting on a, you know, Ellen or any of the late shows that are out there was, would be a really big deal for us. I would just say be really careful, and if you have your money saved up, it's, it's your lifeblood. It's, um, you know, for the, the people locally especially, coming from areas like this, you have to be careful and you're almost better off doing it yourself. How can folks get a hold of your music if we're, we're wanting those songs there? Can you download those new songs? Yeah, um, right now they're on YouTube. Okay. And I'm working on finding a producer and an engineer that really understands the direction I want to go in, this, in the sound. And that just takes some time. But in the meantime, uh, you can find me at kristenkernsmusic.com. Um, on my Facebook, I'm on there. Not so much Twitter anymore, but um, I'm, I'm going to hire a social media team to okay. start helping me get out there more and do some more p photos and stuff like that. So. All right. Uh, it was great having you here, and the songs are just absolutely incredible, and your voice is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. We'll be right back. Appreciate it. Coming up on the spiel. Here is Squeeze Out Hamburger <laughs> like in a toothpaste tube. Just like this. See? See, just like that. Just, just like this. Ooh. Ah, yeah, there you go. I would encourage all of you to pay it forward and let that random act of kindness define us as a nation. You'll know you're in Shawnee forest country when the hills rise up to meet you. When the fruit of the land seems to be waiting for you to pick it. Where at the end of every path, you'll find another reason to raise a toast. The Shawnee National Forest is home to miles of unbelievable natural wonders. Adventure, wineries, <laughs> and unique places to stay. That's how you'll know you're in Shawnee forest country. Plan your getaway at southernmostillinois.com. You're watching The Spiel. Welcome back to the Spiel. We're going to cook it in our Southside Lumber Kitchen, brought to you by Prairie Farms. And Ryan, are you ready for this? No, I'm not. What did I initially tell you? Well, you, you told me initially that we were going to have somebody come in and cook uh -huh. for us today. And I uh -huh. thought, great, because I love it when people cook and then I eat. Uh -huh. You know, that's like my favorite thing to do. It's a, it's a hobby. Uh, but uh, I get here this morning and I find out that no, people aren't coming here to cook. You and I are going to cook. No, no, I'm reading, it says right here, there's a recipe card in this box. Uh -huh. And you're gonna cook. Oh, I? Yeah. So you're not gonna, you're just gonna no. make fun of me as I cook. No, if you follow me on Facebook at all, you'll know I'm not a baker or okay. a cooker. And um, so our producer, Stacy came and said, guys, our, we don't have a, a chef today. Right. So I picked up one of these, which I guess are popular now. Very, yeah. Prep and paired meal kits. This one here is beef fajita tostadas, and uh, have you done one of these before? I have never done one of these, no. Okay, no, what, the, did you done? I did uh, one of the, the famous meal prep things. We did it for one night, and then I canceled it. Because, Wait, oh, you won't do it again? I, well, I just wasn't really impressed with it, okay. personally, but, you know, because I'm an eater, and I, there wasn't a lot of food 
Well, <laughs> and, uh, it said there was enough for four, and, and you know, and I ate the whole thing, and my <laughs> family was like, "Hey, hey, <laughs> what about us?" You know. This says it serves two people, and it's sixteen dollars. I think. That's high, but I guess. But everything's just, included, right? You yeah. have the meat, yeah. you have the cheese, the. Well, let's crack it open here and see what's. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's, mm. it's a child proof. Okay. Uh, you can yeah. help me. Let's that there. Okay. Look at you. So we have. We have. Uh, I got, those are beans. 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 Okay. And here's the meat. That's oh, enough. That's for enough beans. for two? <laughs> I know. That's oh, enough now for two? look. Did yours Aww. have a. Oh, this is awesome. Let's okay. See. Special on onions and. How many do they think we need a piece? Okay, One, two, we got. Three. Well, I think we need there. three a piece. There's okay. cheese and we've got seasonings and things. Okay, so here's the recipe card. All right, so I probably should have brought my. I do. Um, have, I do have my. I have my. my Cheaters. Reader. I don't need those. Uh, what did I do with them? <laughs> uh, I, I no, thought I, I had them. Maybe okay. I didn't bring them. Okay. Oh, so, we're both in trouble. Oh heavens! All right. So got pictures preheat the oven to 400, and then we need to evenly space these uh, tortillas okay. on this baking sheet. So while you're doing that, I need to okay. heat this thing. I want to say something real quick. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Okay. We don't have a cookie sheet, but I will say it takes more than six drops. There's six of these. Mm -hmm. It's more than a drop to get it everywhere. So. All right. Well, I don't know. Number maybe one. Maybe you don't have to get it everywhere. Maybe it's just. Oh. Lightweight. But you know that's fine. Okay. I think that's good. Now oh. you're all oiled up. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do now, right? <laughs> and so uh, so I guess when that's preheated, we we'll stick that in the oven. That goes in there for eight to ten minutes. Okay. Um, in the meantime. In the meantime, I've got this going. We need to put a little bit of oil here. So just put a. It says put a tablespoon, but just put a drop in there. Why well, Angie's missing a good time, isn't she? <laughs> so, okay. all right, so here's uh, Oh, here, I hold. just wiped my nose. I gotta go back <laughs> over here. Okay. So, okay, after, once the oil is shimmering. Shimmering? I've never heard that in a recipe. Doesn't oil already shimmer? I mean, that's, yeah. it's oil. Hold that for me. Okay. Hold that. Yes. Um, so we're, we got the shimmering oil. We add the ground beef and a half teaspoon of salt, and I okay. assume the salt is... They give you salt? No, that's, that's cumin. That's chili powder. No, they did not include salt. Okay, well... Here, just... Watch me, I'm smarter than I look. Ready? This okay. is a tablespoon. Uh -huh. It takes two teaspoons to make a tablespoon, so we'll need just a fourth of this. Huh? I, I am impressed. Oh, thank you. Is that... That's good. That's good. That's All good. right. So we'll just put that in there like that. They said to and... put it on the shimmering oil? Yeah, sure, why not? And then we include the the ground beef here. Okay. The ounce of ground beef. <laughs> it looks like a little pre-made deal when you go on an airplane. <laughs> you open it. It's up. like one of those army oh, meals. Hey, things you want to use my ginsu? <laughs> don't don't hurt me. Wait. What? What's the insurance plan here? Are you guys covered? <laughs> Do we have homeowners insurance? <laughs> oh, this is terrifying. Okay, just. I don't know. Is there scissors? <laughs> we were really prepared for this. How about one of these? <laughs> no, I don't want to do, do that, that with raw kids. meat. No. <laughs> uh, this yeah. is great. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. The ginsu works. See, there you go. All right. Okay. Probably don't want to use that again on anything since okay. we just touched raw meat with it. That's right. That's good. That so. is good. Here is squeeze out hamburger <laughs> like in a toothpaste tube. <laughs> Just like this. See? See, just like that. Just, just like this. Ooh. Ah, yeah, there you go. All right, so. All right. So now we need onions. Does it say we have to drain? No, it doesn't say. It says to add, once browned, add the onions, peppers, okay. cumin, and chili powder. Okay. And cook until the vegetables have softened. <clears throat> okay. And meat is browner all so the way through. So we're adding, through. so it's all prepackaged oh. here. Here are the pep peppers too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Little peppers. Cumin. Next will be cumin. <laughs> so there's that. Okay. And here is the uh, the cumin. Okay. And the chili powder right okay. here. Okay. So it's all prepackaged. So that's nice. I mean, it's nice to have everything already prepackaged, so you don't. This is embarrassing. I can't get this thing open. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Okay. There you go. It's um, it's coming out. <laughs> that is straight up chili powder. <laughs> Whoo! Whee! 
Okay. okay. That's there. Okay, that's good. All right, so now we just do all this until it's kind until the marries, vegetables are marries together. Marries. So I've been learning these words from other chefs we have. <laughs> it's got a Mary. All right. Oh, that looks good. I could eat that right it there. Smells good. Gosh. Whew, that's hot. Okay, so. I could see how it could be a meal for two, kind of. So here. the vegetables have softened and the meat is browned all the way through, which okay. the meat's pretty much browned. Oh, smelling good all in the right. kitchen, y'all. Okay. You know what? Since you gotta like warm the uh, beans up, I bet if we just threw them in there. You just wanna do that? Yeah. Okay. We'll just do that. And then I'm gonna cut the lime, wash it, wash it and cut it. Yeah. And then we can Don't use the same knife that we use to cut the yes. the meat. Yes, that was that's not good. Okay. So this is not part of the recipe. Look at this little guy. <laughs> but we're just going to go ahead and, I guess, throw the beans in here when... Yeah, when you do this at home, with any meal that you get like this, be sure you read the directions and do it like it says. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and add these in. Sure. For now. And then I squeeze. I get to squeeze. You want to squeeze or you want me to squeeze? I will let you squeeze. I would never take away an opportunity for you, for to, you squeeze. to squeeze. <laughs> so, uh... Okay. Squeeze it in there. Oh, I love limes, don't you? Do you use limes at home? I don't. <laughs> I don't use them. I don't. Oh, yeah. You, you know what? After the day, you will. All right. So I think That's this is it, pretty right? much this That's... is pretty much done. Yeah. So there's also salsa and cheese that you put on after, after it's prepared. But we'll have mm -hmm. to pull these out of the oven and assemble everything here, and then I think we'll be uh, I think we'll this be good. This is pretty good. At the Bank of Heron, we know that between family and work, it can be a challenge to find the time to take care of things like going to the bank. And really, what you need is a way to do your banking on the go. Well, we've got good news. With the Bank of Heron mobile banking app, you can manage debit cards, find bank locations, monitor account activity, even make a deposit. Just a few of the ways our mobile banking app can save you a trip to the bank. We'd love for you to come see us, but now you don't have to. The Bank of Heron. It's not just a bank, it's mobile banking. Besides quality that's second to none, part of what makes k, k the premier builder of portable buildings is our selection. From cabins, garages, lofted barns, and deluxe playhouses, to Quaker style, short wall, utility style, and custom building, k, k even offers pre-built chicken coops. So if you can't find what you're looking for in our lot, we can custom build a building to get the exact look you want and all the function you need. k, &K Portable Buildings. To find out what else sets us apart, visit kkportablebuildings.com. We offer a large selection of steel products. We have the largest display in Southern Illinois. We carry probably the biggest selection of chains, chainsaws, accessories, chaps, helmet systems. We do have a certified steel technician. All of my parts guys are silver certified steel technicians. We offer anything from chain sharpening with automatic chain sharpener to a large selection of parts and experience. And experience is just hard to come by these days. We're happy to talk with you via email or on the phone or come in. Welcome back to the spiel. Hey, we have our, what are these, beef fajita tostadas. This yeah. is the prep and paired meal kits uh, that we bought at Kroger. Uh -huh. And uh, we just finished the tostadas, the, the tortillas came out of the oven. Uh -huh. we, we put everything on uh, the tortillas and then garnished it with the, the cheese and the lime. And it, I will say my first impression is there is actually more food here than I thought there would be. Me too. When we pulled the ingredients out, I thought, wow, this does not look like a lot, but there is a lot of food here. I would say two, two men could enjoy this, don't you think? Yes. I mean, enough food? Me and one small, Small. smaller man. Child. Yes. <laughs> You know what, it was $16 and it feeds two. And I don't know, a lot of folks are going, um, I've always wondered if these are good. Well, we're getting ready to tell you here if the beef fajita tostadas are good. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. So we okay. just take one of these yeah. here. Okay. And how do you yep. eat a tostada? Do you just, can you curl it up like I'm a taco? I'm curl it like a taco. All right, let's try this. Mm. 
It's not bad. It's, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. No. Um, it needs a sour, like a sour cream or. It needs a something. It needs, it needs some. A, it needs a little. It needs a little something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some, some maybe some salsa. Something. But it has a great flavor. It does have a good flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not. I mean, the the peppers are not like overbearing or. I'm gonna try one of these at home with the proper scissors. <laughs> and we put the. Uh, we made it a little bit different too. We put the beans in with the mixture. I don't think they were supposed to be. You know what? When you roll it like this, it has like a tamale taste. Mm -hmm. Does it have a tamale taste to you? It does. Mm -hmm. Well. But it's not bad. I'll I give would, it a thumbs up. I would give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I'd say if you want something that's quick, all the ingredients are there, mm -hmm. give it a shot, you might like it. If you don't, just bring <laughs> the leftovers to my house. <laughs> we'll be right back. We love making new friends. Visit us online at facebook.com forward slash spiel on. Not only do we work for a bank that puts family first and encourages family first, we are actually a family within this bank. It doesn't seem like work, it seems like fun. I'm extremely excited about the group of people that we have here. They are a group of people that we laugh together, we cry together, we fight together, we make up together. I get to come to work every day to a place I've never said, you know, I don't want to go to work today. It's not just a bank, it's a relationship. You'll know you're in Shawnee forest country when the hills rise up to meet you. The Shawnee National Forest is home to miles of unbelievable natural wonders. Plan your getaway at southernmostillinois.com. To find out more about the Spiel or even watch past episodes, visit spieleon.com. Wow, what do you think? Well, this has been a rich full day today, yes. Will you come back sometime? Well, sure. I'd only, be happy to. Only come back when... Angie's gone. Don't come back when I'm gone because she has her little friend from St. Louis and their little blondes and you know. But you and I, you know, we go way back and and speaking of going way back, something I was going to ask you earlier and we talked about you being a thespian. <laughs> For those at home that don't doesn't know what a thespian is, they're actor and actresses. Is it both men yeah. and women? Yeah. Okay, yeah. people of the thespians, theater. Thespians. Yes. Thespians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried out for a couple of the plays that you were in, mm -hmm. and I never got called back. I've always wanted to be in a play. I'm sorry. I, I'll tell you what. We can rectify this today. Okay. Okay. I have I have something ah! here. I brought something because I know you've always wanted to to do the acting. How come thing. you could never okay? get me on like with something you had? Well, I'm not I'm not the guy in charge. Yeah, but you know I don't 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 put this all on me. Gosh, but I thought you had. Don't pull. tell me. Don't make they call me your after, dream killer. They, I, they come after you to get you know the best. You could have said, you know what, I'll do the part if Julie can do something. Remember ne that next time. Next time. Okay. Next time. Okay, well, this could be your audition then. Okay. okay. This is what is called a contentless scene. A what? A contentless scene. Like Which content means, okay, less content, scene. Content so what it is, is it's just it's just dialogue. Okay. But there's no there's nothing in the dialogue that that tells a story. It's what is the motivation? What is the setup that tells the story? So what I'm saying here is all of these words on here could be read by 15 different actors 15 different ways. Okay. okay? So it doesn't really have a plot or you don't no, know really what's going on. No, but that's what this is. That's what this is. So okay. here I have three. Okay. And I want you to pick one. This is, these are scenarios. Okay. That, that will determine how we Say read these, these lines. Okay. okay. For, but before we do that, let's just read through them real quick, okay? Am I just, A or B? Uh, which one do you want to be? I want to be A. Pick. Okay, you be A, I'll be B, just so people can hear what the dialogue is, and then we'll add, we'll add an element, uh, some, some elements to it, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. Hi. Hello. How's everything? Fine, I guess. Do you know what time it is? No, not exactly. Do you have a watch? Not on me. Well? Well, what? What did you do last night? What do you mean? What did you do last night? Nothing. Nothing? I said nothing. I'm sorry I asked, 
That's all right. See, though, okay. why did, so that was, what do you guys you think? Was that good? I all should right. have been. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So now I want you to pick a scenario. Okay. okay. Pick one of the three. Let's go middle. Okay. So here we go. This is the scenario we will use. All right. A, that's you, and B are friends. Okay. B has recently been released from a psychiatric care unit after maniacally attacking a friend with a butcher knife. That should have been me, but not okay. you. Okay, anyway. A is aware of this and comes upon B in an isolated spot. Ooh. Okay? Okay. So you know that my character has a recently psycho. been released from a psych ward okay. because I attacked a friend with a knife. Okay. Okay? And, and you, you are now, I... so you just happened upon me. And we're alone? And we are alone. Okay, so now, now see, now that now it's interesting. Okay. See, so same dialogue, same okay. dialogue that we just read. Ready? All right. And, Hold okay. On. Okay, so I gotta. Yeah, get in character. All right. Hi. Hello. How's everything? Fine, I guess. Uh, do you know what time it is? No, not exactly. Don't you have a lot? Not on me. Well? Well what? What did you do last night? What do you mean? What did you do last night? Nothing. Nothing? I said nothing. Okay, I'm sorry I asked. It's all right. How was that? See, there you oh, go. Oh, that's great. See? That's same we... dialogue, same okay. dialogue. Let's do another. You want to do one more? Let's do another, okay, we'll do one I more. I want to see how this switches All right, up. make sure I don't have the same one in there. Okay, ah, so we have that's pick, one, pick one pick one, or the other okay. here. All right. So here we go. A and B, different okay. sexes, are a young married couple. Last night after an argument, B left the apartment, and is now, it's now the following morning. A is washing dishes, and B returns. Oh, this is good. Okay. All right. So, so you and I are married. I left the apartment. I'm now coming back into the apartment after a big fight. So I'm pretty mad. I'm mad. Sounds like it. Yeah, I we'll, am we'll mad. find out. We'll right. find out. Okay. Okay, I've yeah. had a lot yeah. of time to think. Exactly. Okay, ready? All right. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. How's everything? Fine, I, I guess. Do you know what time it is? No, not exactly. Don't you have a watch? Not on me. Well? Well, well what? What'd you do last night? What do you mean? What did you do last night? Nothing. Nothing? I, I, I said nothing. Okay, I'm sorry I asked. It's all right. Thanks. How about that? See? See? So I want to put a call out there to all the theater groups in our area, <laughs> a tri-state area. Yep. Uh, you can get me through spielon.com. There she is. And right here is your number one actor. And, and my uh, number one actress. Aww. Aww. No kissing scenes? That <laughs> well, was the third that one. That was the third one. <laughs> you missed out. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, it's great. And we have the word of the day. I know you know the show, so uh, yeah. here we okay. go. Okay, so I found a word, and, okay. and so I'm supposed to do this here in my mic yeah. to get the, uh, the, pr the pronunciation. I, tr oh, I turned off my volume. There it is. Because we were in a television mm -hmm. you know, studio, so I, I, uh, I turned it off here. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Funambulist. You know I can't say that. Funambulist. 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 Four. Funumb Who goes first here? Well, what does it mean? Oh, you, you want me to tell you what it is? I use it. It is a tightrope walker. Oh, wow. Did a you guys know that? A funambulist is a tightrope walker. Funumb funambulist. Funambulist. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll start. Okay. Funambulist. There. <laughs> Why'd you go list? <laughs> oh, no, I just felt like doing it. <laughs> Ryan, we'll be back with me someday. Thanks again. Thank you. Until. Woke up this morning. You were there. Daylight came through the window pane. Danced in your hair. Could have gone anywhere. 
that I'm safe in your stare. You remind me of everything I wanted to be. Places I've never seen, a little bit of mystery. Could you promise me you stay here holding me forever wrapped up in your smile? Cause I see you and me making history. I feel a burning desire like fire. Pull all the curtains closed, dance through the kitchen as we sing our favorite songs. You can follow my footsteps, tell me all your secrets, all your little victories. Love the way you look at me. Could you promise me you stay here holding me forever? Wrapped up in your smile Cause I see you and me Making history I feel a burning desire Like fire It's fire Someday This kind of feeling lasts forever It's a flame that never goes away And could you promise me Stay here holding me forever Wrapped up in your smile I see you and me Making history I feel a burden 